So the project came about uh, when I was asked to take part in a group show at M16 Art Space in Canberra. And the title of the exhibition is, is just protest. I mean, for me, the, the piece is, is a protest about the broader media landscape in Australia. Um, but I did want to focus on one newspaper in particular, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch, which is the Daily Telegraph. I think everyone in Sydney knows the Daily Telegraph. It's, it's everywhere. Um, it's particularly focused on, on pushing a right-wing agenda. Um, I mean, racism, homophobia, Islamophobia. During the last election, they ran a smear campaign against the Labor Party. They seemed pretty determined to slander and dismantle Australia's welfare state, attacking students, exercising their democratic right to protest, and protect the interests of big business and, you know, Murdoch's personal business interests. When I was coming up with the concept, I wanted to kind of make the, the sculpture out of Daily Telegraph newspapers, but I couldn't think of any way that I'd actually be able to hold the structure of it together as it burnt. So I drew a bit of influence from Eduardo Tresoldi. And I kind of came up with the idea of, of building a wire sculpture, filling it with Daily Telegraph newspapers and then setting it on fire. The painted figure is kind of like a 1920s Ford Bill villain kind of ad man. Obviously he's clutching a, a dog in, in the figure and for me that kind of symbolizes um, you know lower level workers, maybe journalists or you know, you know lap dogs as, as you call them. And you know I thought um, you know the idea of using a dog kind of related to the, the name man bites dog um, which is often used in, in journalism so um, I kind of like the piece relates to that catchphrase as well, you know, 